Good afternoon. APS is planning for the next school year and expects to face a significant budget shortfall. We're talking $25 million. News 13's Gabe Chavez talked to the superintendent today to find out why he's live at APS headquarters. APS tells me the biggest factor is a drop in enrollment with 5,000 fewer students this year. We have seen declining enrollment over the last few years and during the pandemic we had a pretty precipitous drop. Superintendent Scott Elder says for the past seven years enrollment has been going down by almost 2,000 students each year, but last year was the worst. With a current funding formula, the district loses money for each student it loses. While that funding formula is under review by the legislation, they have to plan for what they know will be at this point. The district has to be the right size for the number of students that it has. So that's where we're going to have to really look at, at what we need to move around or how we're going to shift. Elder did not say how the district may reshuffle or consolidate to save money. He did say they were actually looking at a shortfall of $45 million, but had some cuts, had made some cuts to reduce their spending. APS has set a preliminary budget of $811 million. The superintendent says the governor's salary increase on the table for next school year is not one of the reasons why they're facing that shortfall. The extra money would be covered by the state. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabe. Now, some people may ask how the district is short with all the COVID relief funds. The district says that money can only be used for specific purposes. Things like new HVAC systems, PPE, cleaning supplies cannot be used for things like teacher pay and for facilities.